morning. But one concept I want to explain is not only this is we all agree this is a very big step in our lives. We all fought multiple battles that have changed our perspectives, and we all have an unpatient want for something. And I can speak on my personal experience. Um, I started working uh, last year in January after my, it was my first time to actually start working again after I sustained my brain injury. I've had three jobs, and I've lost them all because of my brain injury. And I've applied at 80 different spots at interviews, and obviously I was doing my job and my organization at the same time. And I just wanted to have something. I'm very high functioning. In fact, my mom said that's a good thing. Yeah. But I just wanted to stay busy. I, you know, with the mind, way they rewired my brain and CMS is you don't sit still. You got to keep moving. If you, if I sit still, I get bored very fast. Before my injury, I love to sit still. So with that concept and just trying to get a job, I wanted, you know. Because my brain injury, it's very difficult for people to understand. And I can, obviously was always praying before him, but I pray every night. And I just, when my dad met with Mr. Ziegler at the LU Houston event, and I got some com some conversations from him, and I came here and was blessed to meet Miss Wright with Mr. Ziegler and my brother and sister. It not only changed my perspective, like, okay, maybe this one will try. I've applied for 80 jobs. Obviously, I got called for an interview. My dad said, you might not go to that, but every single one, there was no interview. I kept getting emails, you know. You're, we're just gonna get someone that has better experience or is more qualified. So I said, you know, I kept praying, I need something, I need something. And then when I came here, it not only made sense, obviously why the bridges kept being clipped off every single time, but it's also to change the complete perspective and the, obviously the prayers were answered. But the most important thing is, it's not just prayers that are answered, it's moments of unforgettable, even with the brain injury that you cannot forget because each of you, and I mean, every, this goes for staff, everyone in this room, even those that couldn't make it, which hopefully everyone's here. But when you're blind, sometimes you don't see people. <laughs> is that you guys will always have, once again, a special spot in my heart. You are my motivation. With the rewiring of the brain, I don't forget things. So you guys will have a permanent spot. You are my highlight, you are my star, you are my sun. And it's amazing how I love each and every one of you and there's no word to explain the gratitude of how much of a level that is. It's taller than any building can reach. Y'all are up in the clouds. You are, like I said, you are my star. And it's a perfect example with this Bible verse that this all makes sense. And as you know, there is a message behind anything. For example, in 2 Timothy 1.7, For God gave us not a spirit of fearfulness, but a power of love and most importantly, discipline. And that's what we learned here from you guys and from yeah. the whole Ziegler Foundation and the blessing of getting the opportunity to not only speak of Ziegler and say, oh, I've talked to the Ziegler family. No, I know where the headquarters is. I've been there, not just for to say hi. I learned. They taught me. They rewired my brain. And the sharing of love was commenced from each and every one of you. The second you walk in, not while we're focusing, but making sure you interact. The unbelievable notes that were just handed out. Not that, oh, here, I have something to give you. Just you'd walk in to see something like, oh, who's this from? I can't read signature, but it's just a very heartful meaning, and there's no word that really describes it enough. So I want to thank everyone in this room. I can't thank you enough. If, if I would, I, you'd hear it probably like 10 billion times. But the concept is, is that you guys are all not only fearfulness, but you're full of discipline, and most importantly, you have the love that others need. Mm -hmm. You're the best balloon you get, and you fill the world up with peace, love, hope, inspiration and make dreams become reality so thank you for making not only my dream become reality to continue of helping others and learn the proper way to share the love inspire inspire others and the power of god and the truth of heaven but also what it's like to feel the love and actually not just i know you but i believe in you <coughs> so not only be yourself but we have to believe and you guys make sure that not only we feel the warmth but we are the warmth so if there's, just like Mr. Chief said, if there's ever, and I'm thankful because I was going to ask everyone for their phone number and tell you I love you. <laughs> Thank you guys for the guidance. The prayer was answered. But if you guys ever need help with anything, it doesn't matter what it is or just someone to talk to. Even if it's just, hey, I just want to say, hey, I got to go by. I don't want you to ever hesitate to contact me. You always have a house in Florida on the beach. If you ever want to come, I'd love to take you to the island and show you my neck of the woods. I'd love to also travel together and work as a team here and inspire others and work together as one because we are one, that's what the concept of one love is. Not only obviously needing each other's, but then you put love on there. We obviously need each other's love. That's why we are one love. We are the concept of faith, positivity, and most important, 
passion to inspire others to be inspired. If they charge for air, I have a really big bill right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank you all for not only being in my life, but allowing me to have a blessing of an opportunity, not only to learn the best way to rewire my brain, but to also share the love to others and know what it's like to feel the warmth through your mind, body, heart, and most importantly, your soul. So thank you guys for being here. Amen, James.